Hi everyone, this is Dom AK Shells. You might know me from the Pro ATCX forums. I want to show you today how you import a route into the uh, MCDU of the Aerosoft Airbus X600. I am um, quite new to the plane, so um, hopefully I'm making no basic mistakes here, um, but the uh, MCDU is quite similar to the MD11 one, which I know quite, quite good. So. I think this will do. My understanding is that importing company routes is not always an easy thing with DX, so um, it may be a good idea sometimes to um, have a route uh, manually in there, or it's, it's just faster or with less problematics. Uh, less problematic. So I want just to try to show you. I just loaded the plane, did nothing else at the moment, and um, just opened the MCDU. Yeah, what would you do? You would go to the init page of the MCDU and first of all um, insert the destination and your origin. Um, we are flying from Frankfurt to Tegel here. So we enter into the FEDT. Now the MCDU will search uh, in its local database if there is any company route and would show you some if there would be one. On my system there is none because I'm not using it at all. Um, return nonetheless. The two um, airports are in there. So the MCDU basically knows what it's doing. We're just importing a uh, flight number here, which is my name in this case. So we're good. At the moment we just import a route in the flight plan now. Therefore we open the flight plan and um, see that there is your origin and your destination already in there. So you um, can see the route below in on YouTube. Um, I put it in there so you can follow what I'm doing. First of all, I import the uh, first waypoint. We care about sits and stars later, just the route basically now. So um, the first waypoint will be um, Tobak. We put it in there, just enter it in the scratch pad it on the corresponding line select key with some uh, f plan discontinuity here. Discontinuity, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so the first waypoint is in there. From there we fly an airway to the Galma waypoint. Um, to in to uh, import an airway, you cannot do this in the flight plan view. You have to open the waypoint from uh, where the airway starts. We're doing this here with Tobak and select the airways corresponding LSK here. So the airway will be November 858. We put it in here. There is um, consistency check made if Tobak actually is connected to that airway so you wouldn't be able to import it or enter it if um, it's not connected. So if it's uh, if it goes in there everything is fine so far. Um, then we have to enter the waypoint where the airway is left. This will be Galma. Put it in here. Now it's yellow, so it's consistent and would work. If you would fly another airway from the waypoint of uh, Galma, you wouldn't have to go back to the flight plan and scroll all the way down and, and start again here. You can just enter the next airway in here and the next waypoint and so on. There will be, you um, can add a lot of uh, airways and waypoints in just this one window here. So um, this is not a case in our case here. We will do a direct from Galma to um, the actual um, star entry point in Berlin later on. So um, we will now have it all temporary as you can see in yellow and the uh, TMPY standing up here. You can just insert it then it's in there. If you are sure you did everything correct and uh, MCDU did everything correct. If you're unsure or just want to make sure, go to the uh, temporary flight plan. Everything that's yellow in there is um, temporary, everything that's white is fixed in there. So this is also on the navigational display. I haven't just figured out how to um, maximize it so we can see it better. We just have to live with that for the moment. Um, so we are already at Tobak here, our first web point of the route, so we can then uh, click through a route and see if that what's in there is what we expected from Galma and then direct to EDDT. So, um, sorry, the direct waypoint we have is Battle. Um, 
this has to be inserted in the normal flight plan but first of all we insert the flight plan fix so now it's green and it's uh, in there so now we enter the battle waypoint if you enter direct waypoint additionally you can just enter it in the flight plan put it in here if there are multiple uh, waypoints in your navigational database it will ask you which one to select you will uh, you would choose logically the nearest one normally it's uh, the nearest one the nearest one always is on top um, with the distance from where you are to the waypoint and uh, coordinates um, this battle here is actually the one we want so we select it and it's in there you would now do your uh, pre-flight checks and all your preparation so um, we will skip that and assume we already contacted clearance delivery which gave us um, a departure of uh, 07 center and uh, the Tobac uh, 8 delta departure so in order to get to sit in the FMC now as we just have um, your airport and then the first web on Tobac we enter our origin airport to um, enter the sit here if you're in there we uh, select the departure <coughs> the departure LSK and you can then select the runway if you don't want to select the runway at the current moment you can uh, click on the right cursor here to um, open the sit page and select the sit which will then show you the corresponding runways we don't do that we select 07 center um, it will already show you how long in meters the um, runway is and which course it has and also the ILS frequency here so we select 07 center uh, and um, the MCDU now filters all the sits that are available for this runway we select the one that was assigned to us this takes a little bit here this is Tobac 8, 8 Delta we select it it's in there <coughs> there are no um, sit transitions in Frankfurt so there is nothing to select now again the flight plan is temporary and you can just insert it we will just shortly check if this is correct we see everything in yellow is um, temporary also is this 800 thing this is um, based on the departure so I think it's white anyway we see here the um, in the navigational display the uh, departure goes to the F149 to metro and then further on we click here through to metro and to Tobac and then we are on our normal route I think this is a uh, Tobac is now twice in here. I think this is a an issue with the Aerosoft uh, Airbus. Um, as far as my understanding goes, the um, CDU should recognize that the waypoint is the same and therefore not added twice. Um, I'm not pretty sure, but it can easily be solved. This it wouldn't be a problem. The, um, the Airbus would still fly from Metro to Tobac and then to Swalm, but to make it a little bit uh, more beautiful, which is clear one out you should select the last one of the sit and not the first one of the way uh, of the airway this could be problematic with the airways I'm just assuming but I think that it's better to take out the last waypoint of the sit we do it here we have uh, this continuity we will clear this out too as you could see I deleted the nothing <laughs> so to say between the waypoints this is a different a different um, thing then with the um, Boeing logic where you would uh, put a waypoint in a scratch pad and overwrite the discontinu discontinuity here it has to be deleted it's the same thing with the MD11 MCDU this is the Airbus style so now you could fly and um, would then um, after the flight then it's inserted and would then receive the star during the flight um, we will assume we already got it now to um, show you how you would enter it um, we will do it now so in the uh, X the Airbus uh, X extended it is added to the destination airport this is different to the MD-11 where the uh, star has to be added to the last waypoint before the um, the uh, the uh, destination or better not the last wave before us more the star entry point this is not the case in in the uh, Airbus um, X extended I'm not sure if this is 
as uh, intended by Airbus or if it's just an Aerosoft thing but anyway it works like this you open the uh, destination airport which is absolutely logical open the arrival page with the corresponding LSK and select the runways or you could uh, use the cursor to go to the uh okay there's nothing available as far as long as we don't have any runway all right so then we see the runways and the runway lengths the courses and the ILS frequency already now we will land ILS 08 left to make it easy and see now the um, corresponding stars to there we will um, arrive with the battle uh, 6 Zulu arrival so we will select it here there will be no um, transition we will have a look now in the flight plan the temporary and see that um, we're coming to Gamma Battle Giritilanum and um, then we have again a discontinuity between Lanum and Ligba. Normally a transition would start at Lanum that brings you to the FAF to Ligba or you would be vectored by ATC. This will be not the case. We will fly or assume at least direct from Lanum to Ligba so we will clear this out. Now we have a direct route from Lanon to Ligba, to the outer marker, to the uh, runway. And uh, already in there is the missed approach procedure. You um, do not see this on the uh, plan mode, strangely. I would expect it uh, to be there and I think I already saw it being there on the real elbow. So, um, I, I'm not sure, but it's working. I did it. I did a missed approach with the X, and it's working fine so far. So um, just to be sure, you click your whole flight plan again through. You uh, start in Frankfurt, go to your through your waypoints, route Skymark like Battle from Biritz to Lanum to Ligba to the outer marker to the runway. We're good. We can insert it, and um, yeah, that's it. Now you have. Uh, programmed your route manually as you can see this is actually quite fast done and can save a lot of time uh, instead of um, using converters for company roads and have maybe disk issues or other thing or crash desktops with pro ITCX as I uh, heard before so yeah that's it now you can find a complete route it's in there you have nothing imported you have entered all yourself and um, if you're not talking like me like hell here then it will be done quite easily so have fun uh, always flying and thanks for watching bye